the Buddha's advice is that uh, it's like what you need is mutual respect and you need to extend that mutual respect to, to all parties and all circumstances. Uh, so this is, this is uh, if you like, um, addressing, if you like, the aggression between uh, the, the verbal daggers. Um, but what, what in the sutta um, uh, gives an indication of how to uh, approach finding a resolution of the actual disagreement? Well, okay, first of all, in the front part of the sutta from the, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six parts about, you know, how the bhikkhu maintains this, that, and the other with loving kindness. And then uh, he uses things in common. What, what he's doing, first of all, is he, this is a reprimand sutta, more or less. This is, a, is a, what you call, um, oh, what is that called? Um, you know, he's, he's doing something they do in 15. What is it called? Um, you know, admonishing. Thank you. That was it. He's admonishing the monks. He's putting them in front of them and he's, he's hitting the core of the way you're supposed to be living and you're not doing it. That's number one. He's admonishing them. He isn't trying to teach this to them, really. He's trying to smack them in the face and say, you've all been living together, both of you groups, and you have no business really, you know, you've just really slipped up here. You have forgotten um, that this is the way this is all supposed to be much more conducive, okay? And then in the second part where he's talking about the knowledges, the stress there is right view, okay? And right view is what we have told you is impersonal perspective, okay? It's anatta. So you have forgotten the solution to this whole thing. What whether they came, whether they settled it or not in the sutta is not important. What's important is he told them how they never should have gotten to the point of, you know, having sticks and stones at each other will break my bones and names will never hurt me. They never should have gotten to that point because of the way they were supposed to be living first. Okay, and then in the second part of the sutta, the first knowledge, second knowledge, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth knowledge keeps going back to right view. And the solution to this whole thing was, I don't think you understand you're not, he's really saying to them underneath, I don't think you understand you're not at the level you think you are if you're taking things personally. You should okay. have, done, you see that? And that was the solution. The solution oh, okay. was going to the anatta perspective, okay? 